Okay, today we are going to play the Day of Infamy scenario from SPI TSR's World War II game, Pacific Theater of Operations. It's a solitaire scenario with the uh, player taking the role of the Japanese. And let's see, special rules. Japanese fighters can attack all allied air units in the target hex for two rounds of air combat. Defending air units receive no benefits for quality ratings, nor can they make any attacks. And even if aborted in the first round, defending units can be attacked again during the second round. I guess this represents the uh, airplanes being on the ground and the unpreparedness of the American air units. Japanese naval air units that perform air naval combat receive a plus one bonus to their attack rolls and this is in addition to the plus three bonus that they receive for being naval air. So, to win, the Japanese player um, Japanese player wins if the US player has no more than one step of air units remaining and at least eight naval units are sunk or damaged. This is a historical result. He wins a major victory if at least three naval units are sunk and no air units remain. So, we will start with the air-to-air -air combat sequence. Now, the Japanese player has the Japanese player has a decision to make right off the bat. Does he want to commit one or two fighters or one or two naval air units to combat the uh, American air units? Um, Regardless, he'll roll a six-sided die, and he has to roll a six or less to have an effect. However, a six just aborts um, a defender, whereas, well, actually a six has no effect on the defender, I believe. Um, yeah, it never affects the target. So there's a one in six chance that um, the Japanese naval air will not have any effect on the fighters. So you want to you want to commit at least two and that leaves you four naval air units to commit to the um, air naval attacks which in and of themselves you need to sink or damage eight ships. Um, so that's gonna that's gonna create kind of a tricky situation. Um, bombers or naval air units, fighter bombers, whatever, can uh, attack a number of times equal to their strength. So the Japanese planes will be able to attack three times versus the ships. Um, and whoever I commit to the American planes will get to attack uh, two rounds worth. So we're going to commit fighter and a fighter. You have to uh, you have to pair them off, um, and any excess can uh, be doubled up on once you've uh, paired off aircraft to aircraft. Um, okay, so the way air combat works, you take the combat strength of the attacker, which is a three, and the quality rating of the attacker, which is also a 3, and total those two numbers at uh, 3 plus 3 is 6. Then you will subtract, normally, the quality rating of the defender. However, in this case, the special rules state that the defender does not get to use his quality ratings. So, it's going to be 3 plus 3 is 6 minus 0. It's going to be a 6 or less. However, a 1 always hits, a 6 always misses, and a 5 will never deplete the target unit. Target number is 5 or more, a roll of 5 simply will abort it. But that's not the case in this. Uh, not the case. So, first one versus the fighter. Die roll is a 2. The die roll is less than the target number. The target suffers a step loss. So, Fighter gets a step loss and would normally abort, but in this case it can't. So we go against the bomber. 
3 plus 3 is 6 minus 0 and he gets a 4 which is less and it flips use these tweezers here so both air units have flipped and are reduced to one step and now we get the second round of air-to-air -air combat. They couldn't abort because of the special scenario rules. So, the naval air will once again fire. It still is a six. And it eliminates the American fighter. Sorry. Clumsy me. And then the second Japanese naval air unit will attack the bomber for another four, and it's eliminated. So, they're well on their way towards a uh, major victory if the die rolls uh, keep going in their favor like this. Um, now we get to go to the air naval combat part of the turn. Um, these two guys can't participate because they acted as fighters. Now these guys um, bombers, in this case, naval air units, um, can attack a number of times equal to their strength. So we're going to have four units times three. I can make um, 12 attacks. So to do that, we're going to go against the uh, more lightly armored ships. That's the 11 in there. 11 is the ship's armor rating. You got some 11s and then you have some 12s. So we're going to pair up against uh, some 11s there, I think.